Over the years, we've seen a lot of funny British moments that I've shown in No Context Britain. So today, I thought I could pile an hour of the best clips and show them to you. Enjoy. Arctic monkeys. This is one of my favorite images ever. And it's the image I have on like my, my main Spotify playlist. I don't know why. I just really like this image. <laughs> A man sitting in front of me on the train is using a Twix as a pillow. I mean, improvise, adapt, overcome. Hello, please send me £1,200 or you will be arrested. Boy, that seems legit. You should just send them grand bit. All right, Kelly's baby and toddler eating plan. Oh, God, I would like to know the best way to cook them, though. Was three fucking sausages not enough for you? You have to take one off Gary's plate. Fucking rude. I'm sick to pass the death of you. And, uh, Gary... <laughs> take the... <laughs> Oh, Gary is at the end of his tether. You are tearing this family apart. My kind of takeaway sex kebabs. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna have, I have a controversial statement here. If you are above the age of 22 and you eat kebabs on like a regular basis, seek help. Genuine, even when you're drunk, seek help. I grew out of my kebab phase at like age 19. They just make me feel absolutely awful. Like I'm pretty sure they're not even meat. Like you see like that when you get a donut kebab, it's like, it's like, it has to be like acrylic or something. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not food. A tragedy happened. It did. That's crazy. Well, I'll tell you what, a, a, a real Greek tragedy that happened to me the other day. I was out with mates and there was a kebab shop. I was like, kebab shop. And we went to the kebab shop. I was looking at, you know, the menus on, on the thing. I was looking at them. No chicken nuggets inside. I was like, that is curious because chicken nuggets are, normally a staple of a kebab shop. Anyway, I go to the guy, what's the maximum amount of nuggets you have? And he was like, six. And I was about to go, that is fucking pathetic, quite frankly. I'll take 12. So I take 12. He whips out the car breeder. I can't quite believe my eyes. I'm scratching my head. Nine pounds for 12 nuggets. That's almost a pound a nugget. Are you taking the piss? So overpriced. I don't think I will ever be going back there. Perfect pub doesn't exist. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I don't know why, but that is wrong. That's incorrect. <laughs> it's soup of the day, Carly. <laughs> If you had to name your dog after the last thing you ate, what would they be called? Minge. <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> I just bought my first flat in London thanks to OnlyFans. <laughs> Do you remember when everyone believed this? <laughs> that Big Ben was actually going to be renamed to Massive Mohammed. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. This better not be true. It's a British landmark. <laughs> Always will be and should remain as Big Ben. You know, I think it was that Facebook post there that made it remain as Big Ben, not the fact that it's obviously not going to be related to massive Muhammad. You wouldn't eat an entire pack of custard cream. I've done it before and it wasn't really a good idea. I just felt sick for like a day. London may have more money and Vienna more culture. Rome may have more history and Paris more style, but Glasgow has the biggest heart. My grand got stabbed in Glasgow. Kurt's birthday today got him good, bought him a cake from Asda. Cut it in half, took all the inside out and put a, f <laughs> put a full raw macquin with his eyes in and that. He's only went home to give it to his birds because <laughs> he didn't know I put the fish in it and caused a murder in his... That is brilliant. That is the best thing I've ever seen on this page. That's so good. Gosh, this is an Iceland takeaway scarily spicy Carolina Reaper curry. That actually looks quite nice. <laughs> He didn't handle it very well, I don't think. Out of date alcohol, discounted price, £2. Is it worth it? Debate in the comments. I don't think it is because you could get very ill off that, but debate it. Debate in the comments. We found this in Nigeria, stolen London borough of Croydon Waste Bin. How would you even get that to there? Surely that's re that's a really expensive item to ship just because of how large it is. What? Lost a bet and had to live life in the third person for a day. Bro. <laughs> What? What the fuck? That's a child. That is literally a child. He's just kicking about to school in fucking third person. Euro 2020, it's coming. Yeah. Nah. Nah, it didn't. I did it. I don't think I'm going to get over this. Like, yes, I tried to record a video yesterday. Well, I'm recording this two days after the, the final. I tried to record yesterday and I just couldn't. I don't know why. It literally affects my life in no way whatsoever. Yeah, I was very sad for about a day about it. That kid got like fucking... 30 grand or something for crying. Now, this might be an unpopular opinion here, but what the fuck is 30 grand supposed to do to fix this situation for her? I mean, her and her family were quite obviously already pretty well off if they bought tickets to Wembley and came over from Germany or, or whatever. So I don't know what 30 grand is supposed to fix here. What, what is it supposed to do? Oh, so that guy definitely ran off with the money, didn't he? He's definitely running off with it. And good on him, I say. If you're stupid enough to donate to a GoFundMe for a crying girl at a football game, you deserve to have your money nabbed. <laughs> Wembley, if this goes to pens, and it did. And unfortunately, there were no laser pens in sight. No crime. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'll take notes. Uh, I will make sure not to do any crime in that area between those times. But after 6 p.m., I'm 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 doing all the crimes. There's no such thing as British cuisine. God save our gracious queen. Long live that. That is that is 
that makes me proud. Billy Bear Ham. God, the finest deli meat there is. <laughs> I am a train choo-choo. What a cute bus. <laughs> How I go to sleep knowing I don't have a Birmingham accent. Too right, too right. <laughs> Things to do in Milton Keynes. Leave. I've never been to Milton Keynes. And I'm proud of that. I'm so proud of that fact. The London tube map from above. I've definitely seen this before, That, but that is so sick. I'm going to try and find, find my house. Oh, that's so cool. I can see where the train line goes through my house. It's so, it's so cool. When Five Guys won't let you open a franchise in your local town. I'm, 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 I might, this might be a, I'm, I'm spilling all the unpopular opinions here today. Five Guys is fucking wank. It's wank. It's terrible. Even if it was like McDonald's prices, I still wouldn't pay for it because it's shit. The only good thing about Five Guys is that machine where you get all the different flavors of like Coke and Fanta and stuff. That's their only redeeming quality. Everything else, absolute piss poor quality. I have no idea how it is such a big chain of restaurants. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am normally friendly, I may fight if I am frightened. <laughs> Why is it making me laugh so much? That's my favourite post on it so far. What would you say to Princess Di, our lady of hearts, if she was your mother? What's, what's for dinner, mum? <laughs> Which country is most represented in the Union Jack by area? Wales, 0%, as it should be. Church Reverend pictured with crisps on his nipples during four-day cocaine and ketamine fuel bent. Just let the man live his life. The ultimate British pub... Jeez, I didn't even know there were that many. I thought loads of pubs went out of business. I don't know how, how many pubs are... I'm going to look this up. How many pubs are there in England? 47,200. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> What a twat. Just like Paris. That is just sad. That is the saddest image I've ever seen. Like, you have a problem. The only time it's acceptable to have a pint during the day is in the summer when it's nice and warm. If you're just sat outside of fucking manky Weatherspoons with a pint on a rainy English day, you have a problem, my friend. What? Welcome to the Berry Santa... Oh, that's like the air, <laughs> the area. I could have thought of maybe a better way to, to to frame that or name it. Did somebody say Chinese? Okay, now I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this because I said this on Twitter and I got told off. But who gets chips with a Chinese? And is that curry sauce? That's not Chinese. If you think chips are an appropriate food to have in a Chinese meal, you are completely wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll have an, I'll leave an exception for salt and pepper chips, but just plain chips. That's no, no, sorry, but no. Once again, my point is proven. Chips with Chinese, wrong -uns. absolute wrong -uns. Sorry, but there's no defending you at this point, chip people. Ch is that even supposed to be Chinese? That's just a mess. That's just a fucking mess, whatever it is. Sorry, what? No. Actually, you know what? That's still not as bad as the ch as chips with Chinese. That, go that goes fine. I'm, I can live with that. I can't, I still can't live with chips with Chinese. It's not on. It's just not on, guys. Okay, the United Kingdom's preferred source for chip shop chips. Now, if you know me, you know I love a good data map. I, lo I love these things. All right, so where I'm from, apparently it's ketchup. That sounds about right. I'm, I'm personally a curry sauce kind of guy. I personally find ketchup uh, disgusting. Uh, I, I, I had it as a child. And I haven't had it uh, probably very many times in my adulthood. I think it's right. I think it's rock bottom of the condiment tier list. Cheese. Hey, do you mean like ch like cheesy chips or cheese sauce on chips? Because cheese sauce on chips. What is wrong with you? Hey, what is this? Chip sauce. Chips. What the? F what? Gravy. If you eat, if uh, honestly, gravy is like fucking well below. It's not even on the tier list. It's so far off it. Gravy is rancid. It's like meat juice. It's horrible. Mushy peas. That's not a sauce. Sorry, who is making this tier list? Don't map peas. Even. Man beats rail strike by paddling to work in 74 pound kayak. I would encourage everyone to find different means of commuting to work and ditch the public transport and cars. I mean, I, I just don't go into work. Oh, G uh, George Bullard says his kayak has saved him fat. Well, so he does that every day. He kayaks to work. London has more statues of animals than of named women audit finds. <laughs> As it should be, as it should be. Nuclear power plant spider farm. What, well, I mean, what is what the fuck's a spider farm? Why do we need to farm sp- I don't think that's necessary. Brits no longer allowed to wear football tops and swim shorts in Mallorca resorts. I saw that, but surely that's clickbait. Surely that they, they, that's like in the restaurants or something. It, it, it surely doesn't mean like when you're going to the pool. If it is with the swim shorts, that'll just be incredibly counterintuitive. What do you want me to do? Skinny dip in the pool. Crack cocaine dealer jailed. I mean, when I'm that old, I'm might as well just become a crack cocaine dealer. 
what else am I gonna do? Sit in the retirement home? Wait to die? No, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on the streets selling Charlie. Man tired of paying for expensive trainers has Nikes tattooed onto his feet. Fucking hell, I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Why would you do that? I mean, fair enough. If he's a if he's a if he's a tad bit worn, why not? They're basically shorts. What's the difference, really? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Yes, mate. <laughs> yeah, man. He's got a cowboy hat on as well. Wow. I mean, I would be pissed off if my delivery was being <laughs> delivered by someone on a penny Lovely, farthing. Mate. That would probably be travelling faster if he was walking. Like, it's not a very practical uh, mode of transportation, is it? This level London. I mean, I mean I, I'm going to get told off for this. I really am. And I understand the collection aspect of it. I really do. You can collect. It's cool. It's cool. I thought about collecting them a lot. But is there any actual point in vinyl? Like, any practical use in vinyls? I just, to me, they just look incredibly impractical. Like, you have to get your, your, your fucking gramophone thing. You you need to put the thing on you need to like if you want to find a certain song you may, you need to just like uh, it's 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 a lot of work just use spotify and those can be like eh, it sounds better it sounds better my ears are fucked i don't care ah, prisoner on the run for three weeks appears on birmingham podcast hang on i gotta find this podcast no you're joking right now let me just tell him what i really are going right now you got a man talking to you on the run straight in the living corner i'm not hiding from nobody you understand my name's Gregor Gray. Uh, what? Gregor Gray, four years IPP, served se he served 17 years and currently on the run. Oh, this is just the teaser. What, I, I, uh, is the full thing out yet? Could these guys get in trouble for that? Because they're, like, I don't know, like harboring a fugitive or something. Is, is, is that how it works? And, and I don't care. I don't care. It's funny. It's very funny. You blind, you pulled out the roundabout and I'm coming down. The fucking was it, you dickhead? That's why I slammed on and I almost came off. Is that it, is it? You fucking knob. You fucking lo- Wow, he's angry. He's just, he's just chilling. He doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know the full story. I don't know who's in the right, who's in the wrong, if he, if the uh, driver actually did something wrong, but that is funny. That's a funny reaction. Like, oh, you're gonna shout at me? You're gonna shout? Yeah, okay, I'll run over your fucking bike. You can only save three. Nando's Mackey's Greg's, any other answer is wrong. If you're some degenerate that's picked five guys Pret, Wimpy, or Toby Carver, <laughs> who the fuck's picking Toby Carvery? If you're someone that picked one of those, you, you need to be locked away. I'm probably gonna get told off for saying five guys because a lot of people seem to like five guys for some reason. I don't know why. It, it's too expensive for what it is and it's not even really that nice. McDonald's burgers are way nicer and that's not even my opinion. That's just fact because all of my opinions are fact. I am right about everything. England versus that's disgusting. That's just foul. British cuisine best. No, that is heinous. Ketchup with crisps. Ketchup with crisps. Foul. You're fucking disgusting. Just chicken, no mayo. If you get that, you need to fucking pull yourself together. What a disgrace. There's, it's just, it's dry. Who the fuck is buying just chicken? If I, if I went out and uh, with my friends or something, and we were like, you know what, let's go to Tesco, get a fine meal dinner. And one of them picked up just chicken, I would never speak to them again. What an awful choice. All right, 50 best cuisines. Where's, uh, where is, where is the United King? Is the United King, the United King is not even going to be on there, is it? And that's fair enough. That would be, that would be more than fair enough. How is the United States on there? The food over there is fucking trash. Like whenever I go to America, I'm glad to be coming back because the food over there is, is fucking awful. Kids today will never know the excitement of seeing one of these be wheeled into class. It was limbs. It was limbs when the teacher would go out and you'd hear like the ee, 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 of the TV, of the, the shit box TV being rolled in. It was total limbs. Sausage rolls, £7.50 each. £7 for a sausage roll. Taking the piss. No sausage roll is worth £7.50. No sausage roll could beat a Greg sausage roll. I, I, I mean, that and actually, no, that's not a controversial statement, is it? It's true. It's fucking true. I swear they put like crack in them or something. I can't, I can't, once I have one, I need another. I have an urge to go and buy another. Angry Mob demands Xbox refund after hackers bought 36,000 FIFA gaming points. Yeah, all right, hackers bought them. Yeah, hackers bought them for his account and then built up his ultimate team. Yeah, all right, kid. Queuing without barriers makes you proud to be British. We have been indoctrinated. There's no other, there's no other explanation for this. Chicken tikka Yorkshire, put, that's a proper British dish, that like proper British food. Grandfather a ban from US holiday after accidentally ticking terrorist box on me. Why do they do that? As if some Al Qaeda member would just be like, oh, you, you got me. You got me with that one. You know, I might be many things, but I'm not a liar. Hi, Sam. I was browsing CVs on Indeed.com and your degree in biomedical sciences really stood out to me. 
I'm currently looking for to fill position for Smoky Bones Bar and Grill. Uh, the thing is, though, that is like actually what most degrees will get you now. Like, I know so many people that have got degrees that just can't find jobs in the field they studied. Like, unless you're like training to be a doctor or something, you're gonna you probably struggle to find a job. I've been shown this a lot this month. A toast sandwich is a British sandwich made with two slices of bread, in which the filling is a thin slice of toasted bread, which may be heavily, maybe you know, if you're feeling a little bit feisty, it may be heavily buttered. An 1861 recipe said to add salt and pepper to take. Yeah, you know, that might be a little bit, a little bit too exotic for for my taste there. To be fair, I've, I've been tempted to try that. A, a toast that it doesn't sound terrible. Homes under the hammer, cash the attic, bargain hunt. Me off sick. Whenever I was off sick, we had uh, we had Virgin Media, and it would like uh, you get like shows on there and stuff. And I remember I had like a three day period where I was really ill, and I just watched like a Bear Grill series, and that was that was epic. This was like before Netflix and everything. Oh, this is a classic. Granddad eats half a tub of paint, thinking it's yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless him, bless him. I hope I hope he's I hope he's okay. What school bans bags so boy turns up carrying books in a microwave? What what the what kind of school bans a bag? Why what why what would they have to gain from that? Like, how are they supposed to take things to him and from? Are they supposed to just have a load of books under their arm? Schools are so brain dead, I swear. A <laughs> customer notice, please do not rearrange the candles in an offensive manner as this could upset other customers and families with small children. <laughs> <laughs> You're just asking for it at that point. You, you, like, just don't put up a notice because it's going to happen. <laughs> oh my God, that's actually quite genius. Got to give us some credit there. That is probably one of the best in British inventions ever. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed by our ingenuity. The difference between Stronglow's US and UK miles. Yeah, because we are, we're Britain and we like drink. We drink loads of beer and cider and loads of alcohol. More than the Americans. The Americans are pussies. They don't drink much. They just drink Smirnoff ice and a half pint, whereas we can drink like 20 pints in a night. We are so awesome. Teacher sees disco equipment from 12 year old boy who hosted rave in school toilets. Let him have his entrepreneurial spirit. This is what I hate about schools. They always try and shut down kids trying to hustle. At like my school they tried to, I don't know whether this is even true, but they were telling kids who were selling like sweets and LucasAids and shit like it was illegal. It wasn't. I, I don't think. Maybe it was. I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. I think stuff like that should be encouraged. It promotes entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> Dad of one was jailed for four and a half years, to which he replied, sounds. <laughs> I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. They might want to lower the microphone a bit, it's a bit high. That was a lovely little sing-along I had, really enjoyed that. No idea why Americans love biscuits and gravy so much, fucking disgusting. That's a proper British dish, that. This is not a brothel, there are no prostitutes. <laughs> Imagine being in the position where you have to put up a sign. How does that even happen? This fuck lives in my head rent free. I don't know what he, he's expecting to happen. Like he's on a he's he's a he's on a horse and he's got a helmet on. He wouldn't. I don't, I don't think he, I don't think the odds are in his favour. <laughs> so Gregory has posted in things for sale in Northampton for genuine people too. Don't, don't know why there's a second one. Half a cottage pie for sale. Tasted good when we had it. Not enough room in the fridge to need to get rid of it. Should last till the end of the week. I'd take him up on that if it's free. You know why not? Why not free? Actually no, cottage pie is dead. Legends never die, fucking some boys. I wonder where they are now, because that was like, God, that was like five years ago. It must have been. Shoot, they're, they're, uh, I'm guessing they were like, what, 13 in that picture? They're probably adults now. I wonder what they're up to. British cuisine, best in the... Oh, let's have a look at this. Whoa, oh, would you look at that? Hang on, where is that from? Lily and Chase. So, I don't know where that is, but I hope it's nearby, because I, I would be ordering from there all the time. <laughs> Mike is hard. Glad to hear it, Mike. I hope the missus is happy. I have, I've been on a call. I've been, I've only, I've literally just opened this post to tell you that I have been on a Zoom call with Judy Dench. And I, if you do, you don't, you don't believe me, do you? You don't believe me. I'm going to fucking show you. Yeah, look, okay, okay. I'm, uh, I'm one of these people here. I'm one of these people. And that's Judy Dench. Yo, how cool is that? That's definitely worth me looking for 10 minutes. <laughs> Review of Stonehenge. It's just a few rocks. I mean, it's true. Sure, they're just, it's just a bunch of rocks, innit? Don't know why anyone would go out of their way to go and look at a bunch of rocks. Ah, oh, the video of the woman giving CPR to a bird. It's classic. It's ingrained in our in our society at this point. I, I hope he lived. No, he's he, that 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 bird dead. That bird dead as hell.
top tier dad joke elite tier dad joke i can't believe i can't believe no one's done that before or at least i've never witnessed someone do that before elite world he deserves some kind of dad joke award for an american to live without a gun is like you guys trying to live without tea yeah, i don't think anyone's ever used a cup of tea to kill a classroom full of children though, have they? <laughs> it's a review of big ben it's just a big clock i don't understand all the hype with this clock it's literally just a clock it's going to be a digital one in 30 years what's up for the fuck no it's not what a silly review what a silly review and what do you expect it is a clock it's just a clock what do you expect it to do do a fucking backflip well, yeah that is a quality deal i mean it's fair it's fair you buy a pizza and you get one it's fair huh? children evacuate from swimming pool after a prosthetic leg mistaken for a pedophile huh what no one a kid in every british school and they were elite those were the the, the best salesmen in the world they they were due to go far i deleted facebook many 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 years ago so i have no idea what the what the lucas a kids are up to now but i hope they're all doing very well my school banned it i think after a while because of i don't know i don't know why they banned it i'm guessing it was because it was unhealthy or, or, or something although there was one kid that would sell like you know them little vape pens you get on the hang on i'll try and find them yes oh my god these 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 things the the, these like disposable shisha pens you pull them out of the thing and it, damn yeah he'd sell these and uh <laughs> he got i can't remember what happened but he got in a lot of trouble for it because obviously it's like i think i think they had nicotine in i can't remember and we were like 15 <laughs> tom cruise's 100k bmw was stolen while he was filming in birmingham that sounds about right your fault for parking a 100 grand bmw in birmingham like i don't think i've ever had a pleasant interaction on the streets of birmingham ever it's always like terrifying people that come up to you and tell you that they've just gotten out of prison and then proceed to ask you for money. But like, I don't know what you went into prison for. You could have killed someone. Why, why would I give you money? 12 celebrities who share the same face with fictional characters. 12 Daniel Radcliffe and Harry Potter. Wow, that is that is some observation. Around the world cyclist arrives in UK. Has, has bike stolen outside of Reading Weatherspoons two days later. Yeah, that sounds about right. Lyrics from Sweet Caroline that Brits know. Most of the lyrics, Sweet Caroline, da da da. You see, I know most of the lyrics. They were just in my head. I swear, I swear they were just, I know the lyrics to Sweet Caroline. They were just in my head. I've forgotten them now. Um, was in the spring, da, 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 da. Then spring became the summer. Who'd have believed the... Ah, oh, yes. What a man. What a man. Look at that posture. Look at that ability. A god amongst men. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, mate. True. So disappointed the quality of food today. Fuck off. <laughs> What was your childhood dream? Oh man, I'd kill to go on that show. I'd have killed to go on that show. I think there was a point where my dad was going to apply to go on it. That would have been so cool. I'd have been the coolest guy at school. Lads, what animal would you be if you could be any animal in the world? Pigeon. Just scram pure pasties in town. That's a fair answer. It's a very fair answer. <laughs> just like a drunk night out picture the establishment posted this why how is this good promotion she's drinking straight mayonnaise what do you have to be on to be drinking straight mayonnaise out the squeezy ball major blow jobs for dundee well i'm happy for them i really am yes respect to the true pioneers of uk grime scene this is the turtle i can recite this word for word i'm sure of it turtle man then c mac yeah Featuring little, little fucking, fucking Kev, Kev yeah. yeah. Over, Over there, there in that corner, corner we got our boy Ginger, Ginger Joe. Joe. Yeah, we don't fuck, fuck about. Kick, kick it, Kev. Kev. Got, got on the bus with my day saver. Smoke the reefer in the corner. Lay low in the Grand Theft Auto. In the 05 V6 Cleo Twin, twin turbo. turbo. Oh, we roll with our backseat holes. Oh, we go HFBC. We do them grass. We've got the money because we know how to rap. Yeah, that's a Fucking other one, and we don't fuck about. Love as you mate got shit yeah, on us, yeah. Pimping, you know that fucking. Tell him, Joe, how the fuck yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Joe, how it is, yeah. Do me can go and fuck that shit, yeah, because we know how to do it. Curves on massive, you know that. Fuck. Peace. Brilliant, brilliant. Elite video. S tier video. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay gets bitten on the nose by a puffin. Ramsay's barbecue puffin press. Oh, he lived to regret it. You do not fuck with Gordon. <laughs> Man shouting wakey wakey through megaphone at 2am is caught by police. Free up my guy. He ain't do nothing wrong. Mum said stew for dinner. Wouldn't bother coming home if I were you. Thumbs up. The classic dad fun. A staple. Minge Lane. Oh, you didn't have to leak my address like that. <laughs> Andrew Drinkwater. Water Research Centre. I bet he's very good at his job. Greg's overwhelmed by whores. Yeah, to be fair, whenever I walk into a Greg's, I have to be like, ladies, 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 enough. I just, I just want my sausage rolls. To be fair, that is everywhere because I am, I am a chick magnet.
Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's so fucking good. <laughs> I almost definitely seen that video before. But it's, it's so good. Where are you from, like, Sunderland? Ah, oh, never. Fair enough. That's fair. <laughs> Gran's okay and is leaving the hospital. You making love to me soon or what? Please ignore that last message. Oh god, that's traumatizing. I'm declaring myself the winner of what's landed in my garden 2021. <laughs> how? How has that happened? I live in a very windy area, but how, how does it lift a caravan and put it in your garden? Surely it's not safe for humans to go outside if it, the wind's picking up caravans. Hey, mate! You can't there. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they laughed at the same time as me. That was good. That was brilliant timing. Beef stroganoff and pasta by Bua T. They're all talking about her feet. My days. Christ. Just, uh, <laughs> Revengers, the incredible fella. Sorry, what? Terry Minge. This American can be thankful he never grew up. Yeah, he can. <laughs> so my mum's got me this beautiful balloon with money in it and me being me opened it outside and it blew away. Maybe some kind person will find it and try and get it back to the gutted owner. <laughs> Yeah, you're not getting that money back. Never. Never in a million years. Will he being mad? Like, oh, well, let him fucking tell him to rein it in a bit. He's in public, for God's sake. I urge every youngster to go out and watch B-Movie. The thing is, right, when I first saw this, this image circulate, I thought it was legit. I thought this was real. I thought this was a real thing Nigel Farage tweeted. Of course it's not. I think it's Dunkirk is what he was trying to promote. But this is so much better. It's so much better just to, to believe that he was promoting B-Movie. I know. Right? It's upside down, man. How can I fuck a sausage be upside down, you stupid <laughs> little- <laughs> The perfect date doesn't exist, Shrex. Does that exist? Is that- a hang on, I'm gonna- I'm gonna call- No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's real. It's real. And where is it? It's near Manchester. I'm gonna make a- I'm gonna make a trip to Shrek's Pizza. I have to. I have to go to Shrek's Pizza. Oh my god, I see it. I can see it. No, I can't. I don't know why someone thought Shrek would be a good mascot for their uh, for their pizza place. I don't know what Shrek has to do with pizza, but I can't find it anywhere. Where's Shrek's pizza? No, it has to be here. Look, Shrek's pizza. Great, and someone even someone even reviewed it. Great pizza. My kid loved it. There's three thousand reviews for this fucking place, and I can't find it. Look at the look at that. I no, it, this is fake. It's not real. I've been bamboozled, haven't I? Have I been bamboozled? <laughs> it's supposed to be that, like the third one along, right? No, I'm lost. I can't find it. I'm going to have to go, based off of my research, Shrek's Pizza isn't a thing. Actually, I'm going to Google. I'm going to use Google instead of Google Maps. I mean, I'm looking at their Facebook page and what the fuck is this? All right. So this is their menus. This is from 2017. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this has to do with Shrek, with Shrek, but I had a chicken nugget here and it was very good, but too much onion on it. I just have to suspect now that they've got out of business. Guessing DreamWorks sued and bring Shrek's pizza back. That <laughs> British public wrong about nearly everything survey shows. That, yeah, no, that doesn't surprise me. That does not surprise me. Every village, yes. Every every single one. Yeah, that is like, there's one of those in every single town. That, and they all look exactly the same. They all have the exact same flooring and it, they all look equally as fucking horrible. I don't know why, why they insist on looking so terrible, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a twat. What a twat. You got cocky. You got cocky. Who fucking wants it? <laughs> Who wants it? Who wants it? <laughs> hey! I'll have some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. You know you're British when you cook chicken. Sorry, what? Bro, I'm I'm like the whitest man alive, and that is fucking criminal. That there's no seat. You just ah, oh, that's awful. That's horrific. That makes me feel sick. Here, being alive is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say something profound there, like being alive is great. But no, fair enough. <laughs> he's in a huff because I asked why he's dressed like a train seat. That is, I mean, why, why would you, why would you talk to a stranger on the train? That's not very British of you. Anyone know this man? He entered my garden and helped himself to my fungi. He was unrepentant when I spoke to him. He looks like he looks like a, he look, he looks like a fun guy. <laughs> uh.
Why are you vexed about him taking your, your fungi? Let him have it. I don't, I don't know why he, he, he doesn't look like he's uh, planning on doing any good with it. It looks quite quite menacing, in fact. He, he I, I think he might uh, be brewing a, a evil potion of some kind. But just let him have it. Just let him have it. Britain in British history, Brooks. Britain in every other history. But it is mad how, like, at schools, we never learned how bad Britain actually was. Like, we, we never really learned it. It was all just, like, I can't even remember what I did in history. It's just boring stuff. I think we did, like, the Cold War and stuff. Like, I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Did anyone? Anyone actually ever do like the Egyptians in secondary school? Because I did that in primary school and I always found it really interesting. But as soon as you go to secondary school, you do a bit of like World War II, which is interesting. And then you just do boring shit like Russia. Who gives a fuck? Not me. Teach me about, about the Egyptians and how they made the pyramids and stuff and how they put uh, dead people's organs in those little jars. Beans on toast with Donna meat. Mmm. That's not mmm. That is not mmm at all. <laughs> What the fuck? How hammer must you be to think you would <laughs> that would be a good idea? Could that even hold the weight of a fully grown man? I don't think so. <laughs> He didn't even get like a good jump on it. You'd have thought he'd like put his legs around it and stuff, but no, he just kind of. That's pathetic. That's a pathetic attempt. You know what? You know what? You know what's gonna happen. Any like person with a with five IQ would know what would happen. You basically just held it and leant on it. Well, your mom's British and your dad's Italian. That is rancid. Please, uh, I hope I never get to see that image again. You go on here. I love how he didn't like even bother to help his mate. He had like a he had a solid like second there to put the <laughs> and then he just fell. You could have dropped your phone and helped your mate, but no, he did. He just kept on filming, and I'm glad you did. How the fuck has he managed that? Like not not only has he got his jeans on the wrong way round somehow, he's also <laughs> got two completely different shoes on. Who owns this chippy? Is an absolute disgrace. He has no business in being in customer service. The chippy doesn't even look like a chippy. He rude, arrogant, and a disgrace to. <laughs> with the sea. This chippy shouldn't even be in business. You come into a Chinese takeaway and ask for fish and chips, you would be annoyed, wouldn't you, Kevin? His name's not even Kevin, it's John. <laughs> Half of Britain's would refuse free trips to the moon, fearing there's not enough to see, or that it would take too long. Fair enough, it would take about how long does it take to get to the moon, like a day or two? That is quite a long, it's just like rocks and shit, basically. There's not even like a Weatherspoons or a Nando's or anything. Pop Tarts tweet saying, I like my tarts where I like my money, right in my fanny. <sighs> Right. Good. <laughs> Nan sorting me out. That is that is fucking cursed. But you know what? I, I said I don't like baked beans, but I feel as though I make an exception for beans with the little sausages. Actually, no, I prefer the, uh, the spaghetti with the little sausages. That's great. They're probably not real meat. I don't know what exactly they are. They're probably just like uh, ground down organs or something, but they're banging nonetheless. Oh, Why on earth? Why would they do that? How would they think that's a good idea? Uh, it's their own fault, really, isn't it? Like, you're not going to be able to claim insurance on that. That's your own doing. You basically just drove into a river. Yeah, fucking bell end. Oh, no. Are, are you brave? Would you would you be brave enough to open it? Or would you just would, would you just delete WhatsApp? I'd just delete WhatsApp. I don't know why they took this picture of just um just just two 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 fellows going to Diagon Alley. I couldn't think of a joke. I couldn't think of a joke for this. They're, they're going to Diagon Alley, like in the, Harry po in the Harry Potter books and films. It's a reference. It's a reference. Reference to Harry Potter, the, the the series. Do not steal our bike. Your phone has been passed to the police. You are not welcome on our estate. If you see these kids, contact security immediately. Also, boy in blue, you can't pull off black trousers and white socks. Black trousers and white socks are... That, that, it's a staple. I always wear them. I think it looks sick. I'm not... I, I mean, I'm wearing, like, grey joggers, but, like... I, I, I never wear black socks. I feel as though because if I'm wearing black t-shirt, black black trousers, black socks, it's too much. Do you know what I mean? you got to have a, you got to have a little bit of white to, to break it up a bit. For some reason, like, this whole video is just, like, my idea of hell. <laughs> what are all these people doing it? And they're all on their own. They're not with people. They're just on their own. They're just wandering about like NPCs. We plan to cut all homeless people in half by 2025. Hey, I'm voting Tory. <laughs> 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 Why is it fucking roller skates? Are you chasing down the police officer on roll? It's like that fucking... <laughs>
<laughs> it's like that scene in Batman and Robin where they just like kick off the ice skates and just go up and go, go after Mr. Freeze. Well, did he just have these tactical roller skates ready in case there was a thief aloof? For, imagine running away from the police and you're like, oh yeah, I'm in the clear. I'm well paced. You look behind you, there's some fucking police officer on roller skates like going after you. The police have to do <laughs> roller skates training. <laughs> 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 Guys, <they're> <laughs> I love that video. How have I never seen that video before? Very steep and too high. A one star review of Ben. Very, I mean, fair enough. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I want my money back and they're at the show. I don't know what you, that's London. Uh, to be fair, the, the water does look particularly um, grim. That, I don't know why it looks so grim. It's never normally that, I mean, it is, it is fucking grim, but it's not normally that grim. But I mean, that's that's what you expect when you go up the Shard. It's, it's London, it's not like the, the Caribbean. <laughs> my daughter wanted this dog cake for her birthday. I'm not paying 25 pounds when I can do it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I mean, you, that's that's quite expensive. I don't know how much cakes are, um, because I don't I don't buy cakes. But that twenty, actually, no, no, they're, they're little cupcakes, aren't they? It needs to be individual. Okay, you know what? Twenty five pound for that. I think that seems fair. But that is just cursed. It probably all tasted relatively the same. Actually, this one, I'd say, it looks more more delicious. It reminds me, like you know, Matilda, where they, the the chocolate cake, the chocolate cake in Matilda. Oh. I, I wish I, I wish I could have a piece of that. It looks like that, and I quite want it. I, I want that more than I want that for some reason. Other British version of There's no way Freddo's are 68p. 68p per hundred grams. Yeah, so six. It's six Freddo's. Six Freddo's for. Hey, wait, 63. So it's 63 people. I mean, that that sounds about right. I think that, I, I, I don't. I'm, this hurts my head. Milf Hunter. That is a sick trim, by the way. It looks like a it looks like a speech bubble. And he got he got he got his milk. I don't know if that's his mum or a potential suit. But uh, either way, actually no, no, not either way, not either way. Well done if it's not your mum. Your top window was wide open. I threw it in there, smiley face. Well, good aim. It just, just let's just hope it's not fragile. If it's wobbling, the wife's gobbling. Great. <laughs> Man fine for pretending to be ghost in Portsmouth Cemetery. Police spokesman <laughs> says witnesses complained about Anthony throwing his arms in the air and saying woo. <laughs> Free my guy. He did nothing wrong. He was entertaining the locals. Box in a bin. I like it. I don't know why I like it. I just don't. Uh, and this video is my fucking favourite video ever. I just woke up in a fucking steaming mood <laughs> because I live in a shithole. Do you know what I mean? Birmingham! I love that. I, I'm try, I've been, I tried to find the full video of this, but I can't find it anywhere. Like the, the, video, like the video on his... I can't find it. Oh, it's a person from London called... My neighbour is from London and he is called Rob. <laughs> And two people f thumbs that up because they found it helpful. <laughs> and on the sixth day, God created Manchester. Do fucking right, Gary. That's a sick tattoo. Who fucking... Who would get something like this? What even is that? What is that? <laughs> Just in case someone wants to know his name. It's like, you know, footballers have their names on the back of their shirts. Why can't Craig have his name on his back? <laughs> Board so does anyone want to fight? I will give you £50 if you win, but you probably won't. Cheers, Tony. <laughs> As if you needed a reason to love Harry Hill anymore. Did TV burp cause any problems? Only person who took exception was Jamie Oliver. Oh, of course it was. We did go a bit too far, but we had a show to fill. He had a diagram on his show about if you teach two people to make spaghetti bolognese and they teach two friends in a week, X amount of people wouldn't know how to make it. We did a diagram. If you tell two friends not to bother watching Jamie's whatever it is and they tell two friends he hit the roof. After that, he wouldn't give us any more clips. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most Jamie Oliver thing I've ever heard of. But first of all, right? I didn't know like they lent clips to Harry Hill's TV burp. I thought they were just used under uh, fair dealing, which is like a copyright exception we have in the UK. Because like they would have definitely fallen under. Like I'm not a lawyer or anything, but they would have definitely fallen under that. But also, what did he expect when he lent clips to Harry Hill's TV burp? Did you try and make amends? The producer contacted me to say Jamie's very upset. Can you do a video apologizing to him? <laughs> So I did a video of me in my kitchen singing, I just called to say I loved you, then pulled out one of his pants saying, look, I've got, you have got one of your pants. The producer said he wasn't going to send it to him because it would have just made things worse. Harry Hill is, is a national treasure. He, sh he should get a knighthood. British sockets, best in the world. Absolutely. If you've never watched the Tom Scott video about why British sockets are the best in the world, go watch it after this video. Of course, I need watch time. But yeah, none others compete. Expectation versus reality. Okay, so we've got a nice portion of, of cheesy chips here. The sort of cheesy chips you can expect to get at, at the Binley Mega Chippy. And then you've got, the, that's just tragic. But you know what? I don't believe it. 
I don't believe that. I don't buy that because those are quite clearly McDonald's chips in a McDonald's box. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying they order cheesy chips. Only 22 countries have never been invaded by Britain. And they're here, you know, it's never too late, boys. It's never too late. How would you achieve that? There's, there's barriers. That, how would you, if he did, he must have hit that at some pace to be able to just, I, I guess, clip through it. How's he still alive and walking? <laughs> I, I saw, I saw someone had to, an intern had to apologize for this. Don't apologize. Don't ever apologize for telling the truth. Pretty, ah, oh, to be fair, to be fair, that, that, that looks brilliant. If I went to a party, because most parties you go to, like, they have, like, pizzas and stuff out, which is, I mean, it's all well and good. It's all well and good. But if there was some, 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 some turkey dinosaurs, some curly fries, and some, ah, oh, but, ah, oh, some spaghetti, oh, It'd be class. That's what I'm doing for my birthday. This is what this is what my birthday party will look like. <laughs> Imagine being late to work because of this. Oh, and I thought normal cyclists were dickheads. Bro, bro's going to work. He's doing his morning commute on a fucking penny farthing. Oh, get over yourself, you wanger. What is the point? What is the point? He's not even bothered to go in a cycle lane. The Birmingham or Brummie accent is perceived as the least intelligent British accent. It even scored lower than being silent. That makes sense. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Living in Birmingham isn't stressful at all. Gary 20. That's just the pollution that's got to him. <laughs> <laughs> Niall, I ride a wheelchair all day, but I will ride you all night. Go on, Niall, get the badge in. British cuisine, best in the world. Right, let's have a look. Baby bells are pretty trash, I'm not gonna lie. It's just like eating a block of cheese. Who the fuck eats a block of cheese? I like cheese string. Cheese string is my is my favourite type of cheese. Party rings, party rings aren't good. I'm sorry, they're not good. Fingers are nice. I, I, I shouldn't say that. That'll be taken out of context. Chocolate fingers are nice. Crisps, I, depends on the flavour. Are those skips? Yeah, skips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Baked beans, no. Horrendous. Uh, spaghetti shapes, mwah. Mwah. Like, you know the shit where you used to be able to get them in as, like, uh, famous movies? I think they still do, like, Shrek ones. Yeah, oh, they, 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 those were elite. I think I bought some Peppa Pig ones not long ago, and they were, they were mwah. Onion rings, ugh. Smiley faces, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Overrated, they're too dry. They're good, chicken dippers. All right, nuggets, good, solid. Nuggets are solid. Turkey dinosaurs, nice, nice. Those waffles, nah, 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 again, too dry. Police, unacceptable behavior team. That's, like, the least threatening police officer ever. They look like they're just gonna ask you nicely to stop doing so, and they probably are. It's like one of those police officers you get at, like parks and stuff that, that tell off like teenagers for being rowdy and end up getting bullied by them. Princess Diana stands like the weirdest fucking people on earth. So Martin, this is, oh, this is a Martin. Martin, this is a bloke. When our princess passed away, I wrote a poem in primary school. It's been on my, it's been on my bed set ever since. I thought I'd share. Why are you crying? Because of Lady Die. What happened? <laughs> lady Die. Oh no, I'm sad. My dripping eyes. Lady Die. Lady Die. Oh, Die would have loved that. Dad, fifty, going to you. Ukraine to fight because he's not doing much. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. If you're not up to much, might as well use your time well. Golf putter, £25. Hi, is this still for sale? Hi, yes, I still have it. Are you interested? Yes, mate. Where can you meet me? I'm in East Kilbride. If you come and pick it up, you can have it for £20. I've been off for £20 already, but you message first. Let me know either way. Cheers. All right, mate. Oh, God, this is the worst written message I've ever seen. All right, mate. I'm going to meet some geezer for a new putter. Want to come with me? I will just do him in and take it off him. Lol. Shit, that was meant for my pal, but it's not a pal. Yeah, <laughs> where'd you live? <laughs> Did one of them not think to break? To be fair, cyclists are some of the most stubborn fuckers on the planet. So it doesn't surprise me neither of them break or turned. Stories of the day is cheese racist. Fucking hell, it is a lively news day. Mum threatened with social services because she has huge eyebrows. <laughs> what the fuck? Good. Yeah, no, that is... Uh, if you make decisions like that, you're not fit to care for a child. I'm sorry. But you're not. You're not. That's a that's an awful decision. Wanted man on rooftop lured down by police with promise of McDonald's. Why was he wanted and why was he... Why was he hiding on the roof of like a, a, a two-story semi-detached house. Full body massage, including head? 30? What a bargain. Normally I have to pay at least double that. <laughs> what? Kaz has got bananas. He's giving away a free banana with every carpet this week. Fucking hell, I must go down to Gaz's carpet warehouse and get a carpet. That free banana incentive is just too much for me to resist. London, 500 pounds per month, bills included. Renting in London really makes me think, what the fuck am I doing 
in my life. What am I, what am I fucking doing? Because you like look at places like Thailand, which is arguably way nicer, like nice weather, beaches and stuff, and it's cheap. Like you could get a mansion for like a grand a month out there. And I'm stuck in London paying thousands of pounds a month to live in grey London. Brilliant. We come to come. Nice, nice. I'm 90% sure every single sign in Cumbria has been vandalised at this point. Every single sign like welcoming people to Cumbria or, or saying this is Cumbria. They all have to have been vandalised at this point. I want to go to Cumbria myself just to see if my hypothesis is true. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, he's done him. He's done him. He didn't even, like, do, like, some fucking Mbappe skill. He just, he literally just moved the ball backwards. Here we go. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Yes! <laughs> I wasn't even fucking looking at the seagull. Fucking jackpot, get him! <laughs> yes. I wasn't even looking at the seagull. Steady, eyes on the prize. Look at how can you anticipate that? Oh, okay, he's doing a little head duck. Pounce, pounce, pounce. pounce. Yes! Ah, oh. Unreal interception from the seagull, to be fair. So the IRA's threat to kill Margaret Thatcher somehow ended up on Facebook as an inspirational quote. We only need to be lucky once. You need to be lucky every time. Jesus. <laughs> he looks fuming. Meat loving dad demands daughter packs bags and gets out after finding corn in the freezer. Go on, you go on, lad. Kick her out. None of that muck in my freezer. I was today years old when I found out these bad boys go this deep into the ground. Yeah, that is. I mean, I've never really thought about it before, but that makes sense, I guess. If it was only a little bit like that much, you could just push it and it would fall over. So, yeah, that. That makes sense, but it's still weird. I cook meals for the homeless, drug addicts, people with addictions to gambling and alcohol, that sort of thing. Charity work? No, weather spoons. Ronnie Pickering in whole court for defending Brand's home from suspected drug dealer. Was that recent? I haven't heard about Ronnie Pickering in maybe like six years. I can't find. I don't. Know, I don't know if this is real. Oh wait, okay. Yeah, this is from 2017. It's an article from 2017, so it is it is quite old. Only 22 countries have never been invaded by Britain. To do list. Did somebody say? Chinese? That is... Uh, that's just not Chinese. That's like some noodles, um, some fucking sauce that's not even mixed in, and a few fat chips. Chips aren't a part of a Chinese. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Chips aren't part of a fucking Chinese. They're just not. And you were brought up wrong if you, if you think otherwise. Salt and pepper chips, however... Different story. All right, what is this? We, how do you say that picture of you right now? I just, okay, I'm speaking. It's just writing it down right now. It's writing down everything I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, bless him. He looks so confused. Congratulations to Dick Balson on his award for services to sausages. Oh, oh, oh that's going straight on the mantelpiece. That's going to be Dick's proudest possession. The, his services to sausages. That's such an awful award. What, 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 did he, what service did he do to sausages? I'm curious. Which country has the least attractive people according to Europe? And basically, everyone says England. Uh, except the UK, who says uh, Belgium. Serbia and Albania uh, hate each other. Turkey just hates themselves. And and Greece is stuck 500 years ago. Worst thing to ever happen to this country. Tesco puts up price of meal deal. Yes, it was truly heartbreaking when Tesco changed the meal deal from £3 to, to £3.50. It was actually a little bit sad because it was like a staple. It was a staple. I knew it wasn't going to last forever, but it was a staple. It, it had been there. It was an, it, the £3 meal deal was an institution. It had been there for years and years and years. So it was sad to see it, it go up by 50p. Two people cheering up people's day dresses. What? Two people cheering up people's People's Day. What does that? What does that even mean? Anyway, dresses as the Grinch and Cindy Lou, and teenagers think it's okay to do this when young kids are trying to get photos with them. The Grinch just carried on walking and keep it professional. But really, is there any need for teenagers to do it? Look at the fuck his face. <laughs> Their parents are so proud of bringing back death penalty. I agree. I agree. Anyone caught swearing at a man in a Grinch costume should be put to death. This can only happen to me. Honestly, how can people expect children? to keep believing when they're not looking out Santa's in the heads. <laughs> That's fucking unreal. That's unreal. Oh, I love that. Evil and believes this furry fan art was innocent. <laughs> There is no, there is no innocent furry fan art. There are always victims to furry fan art. Boys take crab from London to Southend on Sea on the train so it could live its best life. Respect. David Tennant faked having a personal assistant so he didn't have to attend events he didn't want to go to. That is actually an unreal tactic. I should, I should do that. Even though I don't get invited to any events. I don't get invited to any events so I, I have no reason for this. Famous people from Luton, Andrew Tate and Tommy Robinson, the creme de la creme of this country. 
great. British cuisine, best in the world. You know what? I will. Go, normally, I I'm I'm pretty firm on the stance that British cuisine is not the best in the world. But now that I've seen the Donner kebab infused pizza, I've changed my tune. I would like to know where I could get one of these Donner kebab infused pizzas. Please let me know. One in eight young people have never seen a cow in real life. I would say surely that's not true. But then again, a lot of people grew up in like like London, where it's just literally grey for miles and miles and miles and miles. So I believe that. I do. I do believe that. It's sad, but I believe it. Ten year challenge, year seven to uni. <laughs> Let me see your ears. <laughs> Prime lab fifty. <laughs> Ronnie Pickering picture Casley supping pipe behind beer garden crash scene. That's quite a headline and quite a picture. Man who stole Viagra from pharmacy is not a hardened criminal, says his lawyer. Wait. Oh, come on. Oh, big fella. I'm glad they're tenth in the league. <laughs> Ha! Ah, deserved it. Deserves it for supporting Chelsea. British man finds Jesus in packet of bacon. Yeah, normally these things don't actually look like Jesus, you know? Like, people say they see Jesus in, like, puddles and stuff. Or in, like, curry. That actually does look a lot like Jesus. That, <laughs> you know? But I feel as though that is a, a sign from above. Let's go shop a stunned after spotting face of Princess Diana in packet of sliced ham. Where? What? There? How does your brain work like that? Are you just looking out for Princess Diana in things? Because, being realistic, that's the only way you can see Princess Diana in uh, that piece of ham. No Context Britain tweeted out a poll saying who would win a drinking competition 68 million Brits for, or 330 million Americans. One thing that does annoy me, well, a lot of things annoy me about British people, but one of the main things is like this thing of like, we could easily outdrink the, the five times more Americans. We can't. Being realistic, we can't. That's just, it's just, it's just not happening. I'd agree. The average Brit probably does have a higher alcohol tolerance than the average American. I do agree on that. But by five times? I don't think so. I'm going to vote 330 million Americans. Yeah. Even a single year seven could take on 330 million Americans in a drinking competition. Just panicked a bit when I glanced up at what my kids were watching on TV. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's just the fucking angle. Not that I would know, but it's just the you know the angle of the camera. Not that I not that I would know. Uh, my biggest surprise of the week: I have a naked lookalike, and he is making a fortune on OnlyFans. I make a grand a day because they think I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> no one's paying for that. Oh, you had... Yes, you did have to be there. Oh, what a time. What year was this? I feel as though this was, must have been like 2011 or something like that. Crispy duck and hoisin, builder's breakfast, onion bargy, fish and chips, cake... What? Cajun squirrel? What, was that one of them? Chili and chocolate? Uh, I just remember the builder's breakfast one being pretty good. I that, This is this has brought a memory, but I have not seen those in probably about 10 years. I haven't even thought about them in about 10 years. If none of you know who Jeremy Vine is, I am honestly envious. He's a cyclist. That's all you need to... He's a cyclist. And he just posts videos, like, complaining about drivers and stuff on Twitter, even when they do, like, nothing wrong. So let's see what he's got to have a moan about today. Okay. Amazon delivery guy. Okay. I need <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's not wrong. Jeremy Vine is a prick. Why is there a dog on the bus? Because it hasn't got a driver's license. I mean, it doesn't. You, you're absolutely correct that. It can't drive. Captain Tom Ceramic Bog Pipe. <laughs> Made in China with a British flag. <laughs> <laughs> Could someone actually, actually, no, that's disrespectful to ask someone to make me maybe a custom Captain Tom ceramic bong, isn't it? I'm highly disappointed with the cake I got from Melissa Browder. It was supposed to be this, and this is what we got. Now she won't respond to me or check her messages. Thanks for screwing up my son's 16th birthday party. All right, so this is what they wanted, uh, like a, a gremlin's cake. <laughs> Oh, you've been done. You have been done over. Like that is just... <laughs> At that point, you just have to accept the L. You have to laugh this one off. If you can't laugh this off, I'm sorry, but you're going to end up living a miserable life. Like, <laughs> that's, that is so fucking funny. Oh man, that is just, that is just wholly unfortunate. How... <laughs> 
<laughs> that has to be like a death or like a for like a YouTube video or TikTok or something. There's no way that is his actual fucking haircut. I'm disgusted my new passport says Queen Elizabeth. It's disrespectful to Charles. He looks exactly like the type of man I'd expect to say something like that and go to the paper about it. I want to find this article. All right, okay. Ian Thompson, 45 from Rugby, said he felt... <laughs> Why would you go to <laughs> an insult to her memory? Why would you get so pressed about this that you go to the paper? Like, mate, do you really have nothing else to do? Man who spent 20k trying to look like David Beckham is now 14k in debt. Yes, pro yes, that sounds about right. <laughs> Imagine spending 20k to look like David Beckham and ending up like that. It looks more like fucking Matt Lucas. You can't beat a Chinese meal. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to start this debate again. This isn't a Chinese, right? The prawn crackers, yeah, sure, sure. Chips, absolutely not. Chips do not belong on a Chinese. Oh, I'm not saying they're disgusting to have chips on a Chinese. It's just it's not Chinese, right? Chicken balls. I'll give you some leeway if you put. Some... Also, this is so dry. Where's the sweet and sour sauce? Like this, like, it's so dry. How could you eat this? Fugitive alert. Merseyside police is looking for Ronnie Williams Jr. of Scotland Road for fraud. He, is, he has convinced three local churches that he is Ed Sheeran and even went as far as performing the shape of you in front of Christ Community Church last Sunday. When the pastor was asked why he believed a real Ed Sheeran would perform for 35 quid in a sandwich, he said he just assumed he fell on tough times. If you have any information about Ronnie's whereabouts, message us immediately. <laughs> I mean, like, no, let, let him go. Let him go. If people are stupid enough to think he is actually Ed Sheeran that has fallen on hard times, that's on them. Hi, Twitter. I just learned that the UK edition of Dollar Tree is this and I may never recover. To be fair, I never thought about Poundland like that until I saw this tweet like, like a year or so ago. Poundland. It might as well be called Fuck Town. And now that I think about it, if you go to someone, oh, can you give me a pound? You're basically asking them to bum you. Ice cream van charging customers seven pounds for 99 flakers seized by police. Good. What were you doing when the news broke the Queen had died? Talksport presenter Tony, I'm not going to even try and pronounce that, was live on the radio when he heard the news. He told his listeners, I had a Chinese delivered just moments after the announcement. It felt wrong and disrespectful to eat it. So is that Mark or Specs, I threw it in the bin. Yeah, starving yourself for the queen. That's what she would have wanted. Dairy milk and now bigger dairy milk. That's the lie. I'll tell you what. Oh my god, I I, I think they brought it back for some of the bars. But the square bits of chocolate in the in the chocolate bar instead of like the weird rounded bits. What were those about? The weird rounded bits of dairy milk chocolate. They're just trying to be edgy and weird. Now bring back bring back the squares in the dairy milk. Oh, that is that's a sign of respect. That's a sign of respect. Mass <laughs> big massive graffiti on the side of a block of flats. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. So they have uh, displayed this um, message of uh, condolence <laughs> on the Heinz baked bean stand. It's what she would have wanted. If I was the queen, I'd want to be displayed by the beans. Breaking stay on normal island, crowds jumped to the defense of a known pedophile while a young man who criticized the pedophile was physically assaulted in front of police officers who then proceeded to arrest. That's insane. That's insane. And you might be like, oh, it's disrespectful him shouting, Andrew, you're a dirty old man. But like, I mean, he shouldn't be, he shouldn't have been arrested for it. He should have been like fucking beaten. It up. Royalists are fucking insane. People say that I don't know, like fucking stan accounts are insane and they're like this new phenomenon. No, royal family stands are the fucking worst. <laughs> look at that! Look, he's fucking, look at him! He's fucking standing over me. Like, oh, you dare disrespect the pedophile? How dare you? Fuck off. Oh, they're, fucking pu they're pushing him. And the police are just doing nothing. But oh, I, oh, this country's fucked. It's an offer I can't refuse. Football is coming home. Obviously, FIFA career mode. Like, very obviously FIFA career mode. I can't believe you're going to be a coach. How are you bagged that? Are you dumb? Oh, I'm going to get my... Look, my trousers are getting dirty. Look at the state of my feet. I've got to try and get over there. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, you gotta fucking feel for him. How does that happen? How the world sees Kevin Bacon, how Britain sees him. To be fair, I don't think I've ever seen a Kevin Bacon movie. Literally, I just know him as the guy from the EE -E adverts. I thought that's all he did. I didn't realise he was an actor until later on. If Americans think beans are weird, wait until they find out we eat spaghetti on toast. Spaghetti, that, I mean, that's a pathetic portion of spaghetti on toast. That's pathetic. It doesn't even cover the toast, but spaghetti on toast goes hard. Spaghetti on toast with a bit of cheese. Oh, mwah, you can't beat it. It's so good. Beanini. I mean, like, the thing is, I'm pretty, this just unlocks 
unlocked a memory. I think my secondary school sold these. I have a feeling this is a picture from my old secondary school. I really have an inkling. And the thing is, it's not that bad. I wouldn't eat it now, but that's like not that bad. That's not that bad. I I might. I don't like baked beans though. There's no real reason for me not liking baked beans. I think it was just once I got like a really hard one. And it made me gag, so I don't eat baked beans anymore. But if I was into baked beans, I'd eat that easy. Jeremy Corbyn played a version of Doom that lets you kill Thatcher. Oh. I mean, I feel as though, like, newspapers publish this, uh, this story and to try and get people to turn against Corbyn. But if anything, it just made more people like him because that's just really funny. What was your childhood dream? Me. Oh, my God. I would have given everything. I would have given everything for just one go at Total Wipeout. They should bring back that show. That was, it, was, it was so good. I mean, it wasn't really that great. It was basically just the same thing every episode, like people going through an obstacle. It wasn't that great in hindsight, but it looked fun. <laughs> Free huge up for anyone named Phil or Holly this week. Again. I love, I absolutely love the Phil and Holly discourse going on at the moment about them queue jump because realistically, who cares? It's not a big issue. There are bigger things going on at the moment like the cost of living crisis and the fact the pound is almost worthless now. But people are so pressed over the fact that these two people might have queue jump to 24 hour queue to look at the Queen's coffin. It's so funny. The way Americans pronounce the name Craig should be a cra What? Oh yeah, they call it like Craig. They go Craig. It's Craig. C-R-A-I-G. Craig, not Craig. Hats off to the lovely gent working the tills at Tesco today. What a lovely tribute to our queen. Ugh. I hate to say it because it's like an overused joke. The thing is, right, I want to say check his hard drive, uh, but I'm not going to say that because he seems, he just seems like a nice patriotic man. So I'm just going to let him get on with what he wants to do. <laughs> what? Uh, it's all the, all the porn channels are playing the Queen's funeral. I love how all the porn channels are playing the Queen's funeral, but Channel 5 was still just playing the Emoji Movie and Stuart Little. That's so elite. Oh, me wife's Irish. Oh, strong Excuse language. Me? Chelsea shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not wrong though, is he? <laughs> Fucking hell. I'd like to think that when the Queen enters heaven, Philip will be waiting for her. You waited, Philip, she says. Of course I did. How could I not? They take a slow walk up the stairs of heaven and are grated by a grinning cap. Oh my god. Ah! I was not expecting that twist at the end. But they fucking, the royal stan accounts are, are making fan fiction about him now. I'm making heaven based fan fiction on them. People are queuing to see a dead old lady in a box that they never knew. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I guess like this morning, like, I don't know, four o'clock, I got off at London Blackfriars Station uh, to, to come back to come back to my flat. And I'm walking out and I'm like, there's a lot of like really like, I don't know, dressed up people at four in the morning in London. Like, old guys dressed up. And I was like, what the, what the fuck's going on? So I'm, like, walking. And I see, like, a sign, like, this is where you start to queue for, I don't know, to look at the Queen's dead body. You don't even get to see a dead body. It's just, like, a box. And Blackfriars is, like, a mile and a half from where she is. So these people are queuing a mile and a half. And I heard it got as long as three miles yesterday. Three fucking miles. You're queuing up literally across the city to look at a, a box. And I get it. I get it. Paying respects and all that. But, like... With all due respect, you didn't you didn't know her. You don't why are you queuing, why are you spending like an entire day queuing up to look from a distance at a box which has like a dead old lady in it? Like it, it, it confuses me. It really does. I also get it's like a part of history or whatever, but like I don't know, it's something about it just seems like really like strange. D don't you think? But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave you there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh rest in peace, Liz. Uh, God save the king.